This video will cover the topic, square root of a perfect square monomial. Before we do an example together, let's first go over the definition of a perfect square. A perfect square is a number that is the product of an integer value multiplied by itself. For example, 64 is a perfect square since 8 times 8 is 64. In regards to variable values, any variable with an even exponent is a perfect square. Why is that? This is because any variable multiplied by itself will, will result in an even exponent. For example, x to the n times x to the n is always going to be equal to x to the 2n, where n is an integer value. Let's look at another example, x squared. x squared is a perfect square since its factors are x and x, and x is equal to x. And so since they're equal, and x times x is x squared, x squared is a perfect square. x cubed, on the other hand, is not. If you break down its factors, its factors are x and x squared. x is not equal to x squared. So therefore, x cubed is not a perfect square. So this will work for any even power? What about like x to the eighth? Well, let's look and see. We saw this formula a little bit earlier, but in this case, we're talking about x to the eighth. And so our two to the n, or two times n rather, is going to be equal to 8. And so we want n plus n to equal 8 since when we multiply exponents together we add the actual exponents together to get our resulting 1. The n that satisfies this is 4. So we're going to have x to the 4th times x to the 4th is going to be equal to x times 2 times 4 which is equal to x to the eighth power. Because of this, x to the eighth is a perfect square. Oh, okay. That makes more sense now. How do we find the square root of a perfect square monomial then? The square root of a perfect square monomial is the product of the square root of each term. Let's do an example. Let's say we would like to find the square root of 16 times x squared times y to the fourth. This is equivalent to multiplying the square root of each term together. So it's going to be equal to the square root of 16 times the square root of x squared times the square root of y to the fourth. Let's evaluate those individually off to the side first. The square root of 16 is going to be 4, since 4 times 4 is 16. The square root of x squared is going to be x, since x times x is x squared. The square root of y to the fourth is going to be y squared, since y squared times y squared is y to the fourth. So, the square root of 16 times x squared times y to the fourth is going to be 4 times x times y squared. Well, that all seemed right, but how do I know you got the correct answer? In order to see whether or not we got the correct answer, we will first square both sides of this equation. Whenever we square a square root, the square root cancels out. So for this part of the equation, we get 16 x squared y to the fourth. And that's going to be equal to 4 x y squared, all of that squared, which is going to be equal to 4 squared, which is 16, times x squared, times y squared squared, which is y to the fourth. Since both sides of the equation are equivalent, we know that we achieved the correct answer. I understand now. So, assuming that the monomial is a perfect square, we first take the square root of each term and then multiply these terms together in order to find the square root of the monomial itself? Exactly. Before working on a problem, make sure that the monomial is a perfect square. If you are certain that it is a perfect square, 
then this is exactly how you want to find the square root of the monomial.